Honorable Member for Million Lloyd Minster. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. After promising an imminent release of draft methane regulations three times, the Energy Minister has announced that discussion groups will go back to the drawing board with new committee members. This oversight committee has invited CAP, CNRL, Ecojustice, and the Environmental Defense Fund to the discussion table for the first time. So clearly, these regulations are nowhere near ready for release. This process has dragged every step of the way with promises of draft regulations in the summer, then September, then November, and now who knows when. Will the minister finally admit that the draft regulations are nowhere near completion and commit to a timeline for release? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, what I will admit is we've worked very hard with industry to, uh, to develop uh, industry and uh, environment groups to develop the 45% uh, percent reduction in um, methane. And um, I mentioned last week, and I'll mention again, these regulations are about to come out uh, very soon, and there'll be a period of um, re reaction to it and before the final regs come out. Uh, this second group is just a last look before these regs come out. Well, Madam Speaker, with respect, very soon was last summer the first time we heard that promise. Given that Lloyd Minster is the heavy oil capital of the world and our innovative producers developed the cold heavy oil production with sand extraction technique, better known as CHOPS, and given that the new methane regulations could jeopardize CHOPS production, re resulting in massive job losses and economic damage to Lloyd Minster and area to the Minister. Will you commit to reviewing the proposed new methane regulations with Lloydminster area producers in order to minimize the impact of the potential negative impact of these regulations? Minister of Energy. Thank you, Madam Speaker. You know, we are working, uh, as I mentioned, with industry in a number of groups, uh, such as CAP and, and many of the oil and gas industry players, for a made in Alberta solution because the alternative, Mrs. Madam Speaker, is we will get an Ottawa imposed solution if we do not do that. Um, we are taking steps to reduce that pollution. We know that we have to balance industry needs with the certainty they need, but we also have to get this done. And Ms. Madam Speaker, we're using facts, science and innovation to accomplish this. Yeah, something you guys don't know anything about. Madam Speaker, let's talk about innovation. Given that the producers in the Lloyd Minster heavy oil region have already begun the process of transitioning to a less methane intensive thermal flood extraction process, and given that seven of these new thermal plants have recently been approved, all in Saskatchewan where the approval process takes 12 to 18 months compared to the AER's record of over four years. To the Minister, this discrepancy hurts heavy oil production in Alberta and certainly doesn't make life better for Albertans. Will you commit to streamlining the AER's approval process? Minister of Energy. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the AER has had the lead on this uh, along with my department, along with uh, Ministry of Ener er, Environment and parks and uh, we have worked with industry both heavy oil traditional oil oil sands um, and uh, we have we have the regulations coming as i've said very soon and uh, i invite any of you folks over there to have your constituents re look at these regulations provide feedback before the final regulations come out mr speaker, Madam speaker.